Hi, everybody, and welcome back. It's the top of the hour. Uh, hello, Evolution family. It's Thursday, April 15th, 2021. It's a little bit after 4 p.m. Pacific time. I'm Jose Lambert of Archer Travel Service, and I want to welcome you to the Archer Travel Morning Brief. Arch. We were talking about the morning briefing before this, and I almost said it again. Jose, it's not morning anymore. <laughs> I want to welcome you to the Archer Travel Report. We were talking about something else, but anyway. Um, this report happens every Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific time. They're out for all Evolution agents, uh, team members, sponsors, consultants. We want to give you guys the latest travel news that will affect your Evolution uh, travel agent business. And um, today, uh, what we're going to cover, and this is one that Ron gave me, was what in the world is happening? Okay, finding the news that you need to know about that affects your business. So we're going to be covering where you find this information. Now, you maybe want to grab a piece of paper, a pen or a pencil. If you want a copy of this PowerPoint, just you know, email me and I'll get it to you. But these are great resources that you need to know about. So when someone comes to you and says, hey, you know what? Me and the wife want to go to the uh, Maldives or the Maldives. You better know what that means. Okay. And you better find out how to get there. And, you know, finding out what the newest travel trends are and stuff. But first off, uh, before we get there and talk about that, let's go to some news that broke today. Let's go to the next slide, please. Oh, that's right. We got to do this. There it is. The Evolution Convention. Okay, I mentioned it last hour, but there it is, you guys. We really want to see you guys there. It's going to be a lot of fun. We are all excited. I'm going to be there. Reggie, Amanda is going to be there. Uh, a couple of maybe other uh, Archer folks might be there. I know Ron will be there. So it's going to be a great time. You know, we're, and, and, and I know all my friends, you know, Michael Clark and Don and Kathy and down in Daytona and uh, Donna Fontaine, I think she may or may not be there, but the, every, and uh, what's her name? Annie Cushing, you know, uh, and Patrice Abel and, and all the Platinums, Tony Ward, everybody, everybody's going to be there. So you have to be there too. You're not going to want to miss this. Now, where can you purchase this? Let's go to the next slide. You can go right here to the Travel Cafe. See the, see these two bumps right there? All right, those two buttons. It says there that you can, um, in black there, you can say, uh, you can buy the, your tickets for the convention there. And then in the blue, you can buy your uh, rooms and take care of your flights. So that's where it is. We really want to see you guys there. And, and I'm telling you, this is going to sell out. It's selling out, folks. So make sure you get that. All right, make sure you get that. We, we, want, we really want you to be there. We're going to have a great travel show too. We're really excited about that. Let's go to the next one. All right, some cruise news. MSC Cruises schedules more ships and can we move that that thing? The, the, she's working on, I can't read. There we go. Uh, more ships and new itineraries in Europe for summer 2021. What? Yeah, check it out. This broke today uh, on Travel Pulse. MSC Cruises plans to start operating more ships on new itineraries in the Mediterranean in Europe for summer 2021. The ships will operate under the same industry leading health and safety protocol that they have been in use since August 2020. The line has carried over 60,000 guests since it's resumed sailing in the Mediterranean. The health protocols are outlined here. They include mandatory testing before boarding and daily temperature checks, but not vaccines. So there you go. MSC Cruises recommends that guests uh, go ashore with only MSC Cruises shore excursions. Uh, the CEO said uh, of MSC uh, Cruises, Gianni Onoratoro, Plus, I'm confident that in the coming weeks, we will be further enrich some of the new itineraries as well as add more ships with the new ones and more ports and tourist destinations in particular in Spain and France becoming available to receive ships and visitors. All right, that's great news. So that cruise line is preparing to go on its schedule, put new itineraries in. Now, if you've got clients that want to go and experience MSC in Europe, well, you got to figure out how am I going to get my clients there because Europe is currently closed. So you're going to have to monitor that. And how are you going to monitor that? I'm going to show you how to do that here in a moment. All right. Let's go to the very next slide here. Oh, check this out. Check it out. This broke late last night. Nevada will return to full capacity on June 1. Wow. I'll repeat that again. Nevada will return to full capacity on June 1. Las Vegas, Reno, and the rest of Nevada's hotel casinos can begin to operate at full capacity Beginning June 1, Governor Steve Sisolak announced on Tuesday, the Las Vegas Sun reported, it's been a big announcement uh, in, in the making for businesses, especially in Las Vegas. Sin City is one of the leading tourist destinations in the world and has dramatically suffered due to the coronavirus pandemic. Um, so they are like ready to go. Um, at one point last year, the entire state was shut down for three months. 
Steve Hill, president of CEO of the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority, said the vaccines played a huge role. The wide availability and rapid administration of vaccines will allow our valued events uh, industry to rec reconvene with confidence in its entirety. Las Vegas will continue providing the gold standard for health, wellness, and safety precautions for the benefit of its workforce, the community, and our visitors. So that's great news, you guys. Boom. Las Vegas is going to be open on June 1. That's really, really good. That is really great. So you know what? Okay. And where did I find that? In travel polls. Okay. What in the world is happening? Listen, if you're going to be a successful travel consultant, travel advisor, you got to know what's going on in the industry. And it's pretty easy to find out what's going on in the industry. And I'm going to show you where to do that because you want to be on top of it. You want to be on top of it. If someone comes to you and, and let's say you don't know the answer. If someone says, you know, we want to go to, you know, the Maldives. All right. And you don't know where that is. Okay, Mr. Klein, I'll get that information to you. When do you want to go? You can always do that, but you should be on top of it. So I'm going to show you some travel news sources that you should be checking on, you know, that, that you should be checking on, you know, every couple of days just to see what's happening in the business. Let's go to the next slide. All right, focus themes, news sources, all right? What we're going to cover in this uh, training today is travel news, internet places, world travel news, big city newspapers. Yeah, they still have big city newspapers, local neighborhood newspapers. They have those too. Cruise news, talent agent magazines, uh, local travel shows and TV shows, travel TV shows. And these are all really important. And if you get a chance to maybe just spend five minutes just reviewing an article, you're going to be that much more informed and that much more of a travel advisor professional. Let's go to the ne next one. Okay, here's one. Now, this is my homepage. I use MSN. I love MSN. I've always had it. This is msn.com. And as you can see here, this is the travel section over here. Okay, they have their own travel section. And if you can scroll up and down, oh, no, this is actually, I built this as a slide. It'll show you all types of different places you can go, new trends that are happening in travel, where people are really excited on going. Um, uh, you know, I found out a lot of information that I give you guys, I get from this website. I get it from here. The information that I think, okay, this is good. This is what my, you, my clients, because you're my clients, you know, need to know to further your business. You know, you need to know about the cruises. You need to know about the all-inclusives. You need to know about these places that you guys book a lot. So that's one place to go. That's on MSN. Let's go to the next one. Yahoo, Yahoo, okay? They, they also have a travel news section in their live section, and they have all types of articles in there about what's happening, what the new trend is, you know, how, what's the you know, experience on getting on a flight from New York to uh, LA. They've got all these wonderful articles in here, so you should just take a look at those and scroll through those and find out that, you know, what interests you and hit on it and review it. That way you'll be that much more, you know, prepared to when you meet that client and you can answer those questions. All right, let's go to the next one. Travel news. Even the, even the travel news sites or the internet news sites like CNN and Fox, uh, MSN. Uh, I don't think MSNBC has one, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, NBC does. You know, in their news, NBC News, they have travel sections. And here's one from CNN. So that's why I'm saying there's a lot of information out there and these are all really, really good sources that are available to you, the travel advisor. So start going here. If you want to be successful in this business, you want to start knowing this information. I, I'm just telling you, that's what's going to make you stand above the other people down here, the ones that don't do that. These are the ones that only do three or four bookings and they leave because they, they don't do this. And this should be fun. If you have a passion for this business like I do, this should be a lot of fun and go, wow, I can't wait to tell my clients, you know, Vegas is open. They don't know that your clients don't know that Vegas is going to be open on June 1st. Now, you know, it. that's what I'm talking about. Being on top of it. Let's go to the next one. Here's, here's my favorite. I, I get a lot of news from this guy, from this website, travelpulse.com. I mean, they have, they, they're the ones that broke the one about Las Vegas. They broke that last night. I was sitting at home and I was playing around doing something. I was, I was doing some work and I said, well, let me see what travel pulse. Boom, it went up. I went, whoa, Vegas is opening June 1st. So we came in here and Susie didn't know it and Violet didn't know it. And I said, Vegas is going to open. Reggie knew it, you know, and, uh, but that's what I'm saying. Be on top of this. This will give you uh, that extra added edge as an advisor, agent. Let's go to the next one. Now here's some world news. This is, this is a, this website is traveldailynews.com. I don't really go to this site a lot because what they do, if you can read in here, Amanda, can we take this full? 
I, I just wanted to show them if we can take this full. Okay, this is like real international stuff. You know, stuff that happens in Spain and France, you know, mostly for their clientele. But if you want information about, you know, uh, world travel news, you want to check out TravelDailyNews.com. This is what this site does. They do more international stuff. And if I remember right, it says here, um, where Mesa Group, and they do some USA stuff. But this is, like I said, this is mostly for international. All right, let's go to the next slide. Okay, here we go. Big city newspapers, okay? Here you have the Los Angeles Times. Uh, this is our local big city newspaper, and they still print it. And they always have, every Sunday in the Sunday section, they have a travel section. And this is the Traveler of the Year. This is a photo of someone who went to the LA Travel Show, as you can see right here. And they have a big travel show. It's huge. And I, we went to it last year, Krista and I, and a couple other people from the office went. It was really great. It was in Long Beach, and it was really a lot of fun. So this is really important. Now, you want to go get now. So if you let's say that you don't live in a big city. OK, let's say that you live in Texas and you live like two hours away from Dallas. But your Circle K or your, you know, Piggly Wiggly or your uh, 7-Eleven has the Dallas paper there. The Morning Dispatch. I think that's what it's called in it. The Dallas Morning Dispatch. OK, pick that up. The big city newspapers will have huge travel sections in there. Go through there. See what's happening. See what the trends are. See what the trends are for your area and community. That way you know. You know, you know start reading the articles because a lot of things that these travel sections have is, you know, travelers, you know, write in and, you know, and say, you know, letters to the editor of the travel editor. And here's some, you know, well, we just got back from Cancun and then we experienced this. We did, you know, you'll learn a lot more. You'll also see pricing there. You'll see what they're offering. You'll see other travel agencies, uh, you know, advertising in there. You'll, you'll see what the competition is doing. So this is a real big one, all right? This is a real big one. Let's go to the next one. Oh, and by the way, a little thing about that big city newspapers. I'm talking about your big, big papers. San Francisco Chronicle, the LA Times, Washington Post, New York Times, uh, St. Louis Dispatch, uh, the Tribune in Chicago, all those big, Miami Herald, all those will have travel things. And even also your smaller community newspapers. This is a newspaper from my mom's house from my mom, where, not my mom's house, but this is where my mom lives in Tehachapi, California. And this is their local news. This is their small community paper. And look what they have here. Wellness travel hits the road. If I'm an agent in Tehachapi, what's that gonna tell me? That they're interested in this, so I should start getting myself prepared with knowing about wellness and wellness resorts in California that my clients or my friends and neighbors in this community can go to. You see what I mean? So don't just, you know, neglect, oh, I don't need to look at that, you know, that's that small little paper. And we, every community has one of these. Even here in La Crescetta, there's a little newspaper that they print out here. And there's a travel section in there. There's somebody in there writing in and talking about travel. So go make sure you check these out too. All right, let's go to the next one. Cruise news. Cruise, cruising and the cruise industry has their own, like, news. There's several websites on just cruise news. And, and they are. This is Cruise Critic. This is one of the better ones. They have a lot of information in here. If you want to know last minute information about what's happening in the cruise industry, you go here. You go here. They will tell you everything that you need to know. And this is more important for you because you guys book a lot of cruises. You guys, they, they will tell you about the new sales, about what's happening, uh, you know, the promotions and everything. And they will print this out and, and they will let you know about it. So check these guys out too. That's Cruise Critic. Cruise Critic. All right, let's go to the next one. Oh, Travel Agent Magazine. Let me move out of the way here, okay? Now, all of these, you should be registered and, and you know, subscribing to all these. You get them free if you're with Art to Travel. Um, you have Travel Agent Magazine. That's my favorite one, Travel Agent Magazine. I love that one. And I love, to, well, all of these are really good, but I don't know. Travel Agent Magazine, I like the better. It, it's more suited for travel agents. The Travel Weekly and Travel Age US, they do a little bit more business uh, stuff, but it's still, these three magazines are really, really good, have great articles, they will show you new inventory all the time, new hotels, what, you know, what the trends are, what, what's happening with the all-inclusives, what's happening with cruises. It's really, really, these three are really, really good. You should be getting these. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, then of course, industry travel shows. Wherever you are in the United States, across the United States, if you live two hours outside of Dallas, you will have a travel show in, in Dallas. Go to it. Go to it. Meet people. Talk to the people that are working the booths and get information. That will help you and make sure you have your business card. So you can always like, hey, I'm with uh, Evolution Archer Travel. Boom. And they, oh, yeah, yeah. 
because a lot of the BDMs that you know that we work with, they go to these things and they will probably know you. So, you know, don't be surprised if you'll see Randy Rout there or Irene from Carnival because they send them out there to these shows. So in any big city, I'm talking anywhere in the United States, big city, Dallas, Minneapolis, Chicago, St. Louis, Washington, um, um, uh, Seattle, Washington, San Francisco, they will all have a big, huge travel industry show. Go to it, meet people, look at the products, see what they can offer you, all right? That's another great way to learn. And you know you can learn and, and introduce yourself, find out. Because you see, the thing about this right now is that the majority of the people in this room right now are gonna have a lot of things on sale. Like I said, the entire industry is on sale. At this travel show, they're gonna show you, man, we're knocking stuff off and we wanna sell this stuff because they've lost one full year of income and they wanna just keep it going and keep it going, all right? Let's go to the next one. This one I love, all right? These are really good. And I'm not a big fan of Mr. Steve's because it's a little bit too, uh, like the wanderer and, and you know, like he's always staying in these little pensions, these little apartments in Italy. And so I got this little place and I'm like, no, nah, man, I, I like a place with air conditioning and, you know, a lobby and a bar and things like that. So I, I mean, but he takes you to a lot of places that I never knew about. And that's why I like watching his stuff. And he also has a, a travel website and he also books tours and he, you know, he books a lot of travel for a lot of people. Um, none of it's commissionable, but he does have that. But if you're going to be in this business and you've never seen the world or Europe, go see his because he's, he's covered all of Europe four or five times already. And then there's this one, which I really like. This is more for culinary, uh, but this is a really interesting show. And, and it just finished uh, about two weeks ago, but they'll probably re-air it in the summer. But if you really want to know about Italy and become an Italy specialist in culinary, watch this because he goes to Rome, he goes to Naples, he goes to Sicily, he goes to all these wonderful places and experiences the culinary delights of each of these towns. And it's great. It's really, really fun. And it's quite fascinating. And you will learn a lot. You will learn a lot. So these shows are really, really good too. Okay, so um, is that it, Amanda? Where am I? Oh yeah, all right, wait. I want to show you this one video uh, that is called When We Travel Again. All right, roll it, Amanda. In a year when so many travel plans have had to be put on hold, we at the Travel Corporation have continued doing one thing we've always done, focusing firmly on the future. Indeed, it is this outlook that has sustained us through our first century and will guide us through the second. And so we invite you to join us in looking forward to when we can travel again. When we travel again, we shall go forth with renewed gratitude for the amazing gift that travel can be and the awe that comes from finding ourselves at home in places we have never been. When we travel again, we will see the world through new eyes and deepened appreciation for this truly magnificent planet we all share. Not only will we take in the sights, but we will hear the sounds, breathe in the smells and savor the tastes, all waiting to be experienced. When we travel again, we will do so with renewed joy and purpose. Joy as we create memories that last a lifetime and purpose that comes from knowing our travels play a crucial role in the recovery of communities we visit around the world. When we travel again, we will venture forth with open hearts, letting ourselves be guided by wonder and curiosity ready to connect those we meet along the way. Our hosts, our guides, and our fellow travelers join together in a journey of discovery. When we travel again, we will make travel matter more than ever before, knowing that how we travel is just as important as where, as we explore this wild and precious planet we call home meet people around the globe who welcome us in their homes 
and discover magnificent wild creatures whose homes we visit. When we travel again, we will journey to places both near and far with those we love, our partners, our parents, our children and grandchildren, and dear friends, some we've known for years and others we have yet to meet, making memories all over the world. When the time is right, we shall go forth again. Until then, we shall do what we have always done and dream of distant shores. For while something deep inside us sleeps, we know the sleeper will awaken when we travel again. Wow, I really like that video, When We Travel Again. And that's from the Trafalgar family, uh, the Travel Corporation, which includes Brendan Vacations, uh, Trafalgar, and Contiki. As you can see, they go around the world. And now, when this thing is over, your clients are going to have the opportunity to go do that. Now, your job is to know about it. And your job is to get them there properly. You know, we've been talking, Ron and I and, and our team, we've been talking about, like, how do you retain your clients? is by going up and above your service to them. It's not just here, Mr. and Mrs. Client, here's your cabin tickets to your you know, Royal Caribbean cruise, goodbye. It's not that. It's like you show them how to do it. Because a lot of people here in North America and in Mexico and in Australia and New Zealand, this is gonna be their once in a lifetime trip to go to Paris, to go to Alaska, to go to that all-inclusive, to go to Costa Rica. And you wanna make sure that they have one of the best experiences ever. What we do, we provide the magic for that. That's what I, I mean that. We provide that. We make their dreams come true. We do. But now let's really go above that and show them how to do it. Show them how to do it properly and man, you will have a client for life. They will keep calling you and calling you and then they'll get their friends, family members and friends and your business is just gonna explode, all right? So what in the world is happening? Here it is. There's, uh, if you need to contact me, there's the phone number, there's the email. All right, Amanda, what, any questions? Okay, first question is from Nicole. How do we sign up for the magazines for free? Okay, go to their website, put in the IATA number, put in the Archer information, and you'll get it. That's it. Awesome. Yeah, that's all you need to do. What else? Okay, Nadine. Oh, okay, that was the same question about how do you get the magazines. Okay. Um... Nicole, what is the best way to find out where and when travel shows may be? Okay, I would call your local, you know, call your local newspaper, all right, in your big city newspaper. You know, if you live two hours uh, outside of Dallas, call them up going, hey, are you guys, do you guys have an idea? Now, remember, things have been shut down for a year. So that probably may not come back right away, but for next year in 2022, I'm sure there's going to be several big travel industry shows that you have to be aware of. So. You know, just contact your, your, your travel section editor and say, hey, I've got a question. Do you know of when the travel industry show is going to come around? Okay. Um, Annalise is saying, um, can you please give our South African agents some tips on booking in South Africa? Uh, yeah, that's going to be tough. You know, you guys don't have to give you a call. Jose. Yeah, you guys should call me, but that's going to be tough. I mean, we don't have an office there, um, and everything that you have to book there in South Africa uh, has to be paid in dollars. And we, our hands are kind of tied. I mean, you have maybe Expedia Tap, and maybe a couple other things that you can use as engines, but we are not there yet in South Africa. Um, why don't you talk to your uplines and find out exactly, you know, now if you're in South Africa and you've got like a big strong, you know, network in North America, then that could work out. But um, again, you know, really go back to your team, you know, go to your uplines and, and your team leaders and they will assist you with that. Okay. Perfect. Um, next question was from Nicole is, can we get access to this video as well? 
And yes, you can. Yeah. I put the link in chat. So go ahead and check that out. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, where is, okay. Oh, wait, let's see who this is from. Sorry. Deborah is saying, where is the best way to get, uh, oh, um, what is the best way to get videos to post? Sorry, I was trying what, to what, what, Well, you can get these videos there. They're on YouTube and you're also on this Facebook page. So you can get them and you can rewatch them if you want to and, and get more information out of them. But that's what, right, Amanda? Right? Isn't that yeah, right? And, uh, yeah, we suggest you use the preferred suppliers, obviously, mm -hmm. YouTube page. So um, any of the suppliers we use, uh, Apple Vacations, Apple Eju, Carnival, Princess, Vacation Express, RIE Resorts, go ahead and check out their YouTube pages and feel free to share those to your, uh, to your media. And just don't forget to put your information in the caption so people can contact you. Yeah. That's it. Anything, cool. anything else? Okay, right. uh, I think that was the last question. If I missed your question, sorry, but feel free to contact Jose at the below email. There it is right there. Okay, so listen, you guys, I will see you tomorrow here uh, at 9 a.m. Pacific time as we'll do the Archer Travel Morning Briefing Report from here. Not the Archer, Archer Travel Report, but the Archer Travel Morning Briefing. We'll have it from here at 9 o'clock. You all have a wonderful evening, all right? And I'll see you soon. This is Jose Lambert for Archer Travel. See you in the morning. Bye.